Don in London, hello. August 15th, my daily video on recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. Sorry, I lost my place there. Yeah, my recovery video, one, di one a day on recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. My addictive substance, alcohol, my behaviour equally addictive towards people, places and things work, relationships, always trying to get it right, always driven on opinion and self-belief rather than actually what the truth of now often is or was. So I share here from this book, Daily Reflections from AA, Alcoholics Anonymous. I don't speak for AA or any of the people within or fellows of AA. All unique, all unique authentic people who can speak where they choose and will. So for today, August 15th, didn't we hurt anybody? Some of us, though, tripped over a very different snag. We clung to the claim that when drinking we never hurt anybody but ourselves. This step seemed so simple. I identified several people who I had harmed. This is step eight. Making a list of people we have harmed and being willing to make the amends. But they were no longer available. Still, I was uneasy about the step and avoided conversations dealing with it. In time, I learned to investigate those steps and areas of my life which made me feel uncomfortable. My search revealed my parents, who had been deeply hurt by my isolation from them, my employer, who worried about my absences, my memory lapses, my temper, and the friends I had shunned without explanation. As I faced the reality of the harm I had done, step eight took on new meaning. I am no longer uncomfortable and I feel clean and light. And step eight, making the list of amends and being willing to make them. Step nine follows, but more on that later. And when I look at myself in the day, minute or hour, whether I'm comfortable or not, that serenity prayer helps me at any time, in any place. To God or good conscience, as we come to understand, or do understand, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference, for me, is always just for today.